Google I.O. is the Google's much-awaited event where all the biggest news and plans from the company are told. It is also a place for developers to get a look at the next iteration for Android. So for this video, I have gathered 5 things that happened at Google I.O. Let's roll the intro. Number one on this list is the development of search in Google. Now, we have been using Google now for quite a while. In fact, Google stated that 25% of its search are by doing OK Google. So this time Google introduced Google Assistant. It is made to be more friendly and to be able to hold a conversation with the user. And we can use to search on a subject without mentioning it. For example, if I ask how tall is the apple tar? Then I can further ask how far it is from here. And I can ask further and further questions without mentioning Eiffel Tower again. Following up with Chromecast, Google has set upon making more devices for the home environment. Google Home is just that. It's a wireless speaker that connects with all the smart devices of your home. So you can command, for example, to light up your room. It also features search and it also integrates with Chromecast. Also, the design looks really cool and I'm really digging the LEDs. Google has set its sights on the messaging section with its app Allo. Now, Allo aims to empathize the written text. You can increase, decrease the size of the text to let the other one know if your text was loud or was it a whisper and also it has added many more fun features like more emojis ability to draw a picture and the text prediction is straight from google inbox app and it also features google assistant duo on the other side focuses on the video aspect of conversation it is aimed at making video calls more smoother by automatically adjusting quality to available bandwidth. It also has one more feature that when you're receiving a call from someone, you will be getting a live feed while the phone is ringing. So before you pick up the call, you are getting a sneak at them. I'm not sure to think of it as creepy or good. It feels that the addition of both of these apps, Allo and Duo, might lead to the end of hangups. Android's next version also was shown here. There were more things written out after the initial developer edition of the OS. Multitasking was shown off and we also got to see multi-window and picture-in-picture -picture mode. There were some changes in the notification and we also got to see something called instant apps. Essentially, what it does is that whenever we get a link to an app which we don't have, we can download only the needed part of the app to show the link. Google didn't name the Android N, but I think it's going to be Nutella. I'm probably sure it's Nutella. However, you can also suggest a name for it by going to the link down below. Yes, it's Nutella. This year, Android also revealed the next version of the Android Wear OS, Android Wear 2.0. It features stand-alone apps for Android Wear and also supports cellular-enabled Wear devices. VR is quite a big deal to Google and they didn't miss out on this time after following it up with Google Cardboard. Google has shown the next sketches for VR headsets which features a remote. The demo they showed was quite amazing. They also showed an OS built from the ground up for VR. They also stated how more entertainment apps like IMAX or YouTube will be more enhanced for Daydream. So this was what happened at Google I.O. 2016. Hope you liked the video. I am Arunab and I will see you next time.